how that works and how the more in general the uh, uh, mechanism of uh, of Uniswap and the bonding curve uh, work. Uh, and then we're going to see how that um, whatever relates to an example using Uniswap ROI.com, which is a uh, ROI calculator. If you're using Uniswap or you want to uh, find the best pools where to uh, where to invest in DeFi with Uniswap. So let's start with uh, examining like a little bit more how Uniswap works. There are a few few articles online which are great uh, and, and tell you um, the, the mechanism of um, of the um, uh, market making function of Uniswap, which uh, you probably heard is the, this um, formula uh, X times Y equal K or I whatever an invariant, where X is the um, amount the size of the token liquidity pool uh, y is the um, size of the ethereum liquidity pool w w for one specific pool basically x is how many tokens are there uh, erc20 and uh, y is how many ethereum are in the pool and i or k whatever it's a constant is an invariant uh, which doesn't change uh, as the price change so let's see an example uh, to see how that works and then how the impermanent loss is generated. So let's imagine for just the sake of simplicity that uh, we start, we, we, we enter Uniswap and the price of, um, oh, and by the way, let's consider the couple Ethereum and DAI, which is, I think, uh, easier to understand. Also relates with the, you know, DAI is the, the value of DAI is fixed versus the dollar. So it's more of a familiar maybe number. Let's imagine that the price of um, one Ethereum, just for sake of simplicity, is 100 Die. So the Ethereum is worth $100. So here is uh, my raw P, which is price. Uh, and, and so our initial position zero, uh, the price is 100 Now the other rows is Y, as I said, is the number of Ethereum in the pool. X is the number of um, die in the pool, or not just in the pool, but the proportion like Ethereum die. So the, 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 the amount we're going to invest. And I, as I said, is the invariant, is a constant. So if the price is 100, let's imagine we want to invest 100, 100 Ether uh, in, in this pool, right? We want to get in the Ethereum DAI with 100 Ether. Now, as you, as you know, as you may know, when you uh, participate to a liquidity pool, you need to invest an equal amount in value uh, of Ethereum and your C20 token. So... If the, if the value, if the um, current uh, whatever exchange rate is 100, we will join the pool with uh, putting into the pool 100 Ether and 10,000 DAI, right? Which are worth the same. So we're going to invest uh, 100 Ether, 10,000 DAI. Now, if this is, uh, a, a, and, and we're going to, whatever, uh, invest this into the pool. And so the state of the pool is 100, 10,000. Now, the invariant, uh, the invariant is the product of the two. So the product will be 100 times 10,000, it's a million, okay? And this is basically our initial state. Now, in terms of value here, you find that there are two lines that I put. So V0 is <clears throat> the value of holding, okay? And V1 is the value of the investment in Uniswap. So now, at the beginning, they're both worth 20,000. Why 20,000? 20,000 is just the sum of... 10,000 die times the value, and by the way, I calculated them in the in the in token, right? So in die, uh, so 10,000 die plus 100 liter that are worth 10,000 die. So the 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 value that is uh, that we invested in expressed in die is 20,000, and uh, you know the two coincides for the state zero, um, and, and 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 so whatever the ratio. Uh, which which is also like whatever the impermanent loss is is a uh, hundred percent is zero. The impermanent loss is zero. The values uh, the ratio between you know what we put in and and holding is it's a hundred percent. They coincide. Now let's imagine that the price double. Okay, so I just put here P one versus P zero is the 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 price is zero and and P P one versus P zero is the ratio of of prices. So let's imagine the price double. So, so now is that P is equal 200. One ether is no longer equal 100, but it's 200. Now, what happens here is it's quite interesting, and that's the reason of, um, you know, where the impermanent loss generates. So because of the fact that the uh, price doubled, 
Now, the invariant stay the same, okay? But the mix between the, you know, uh, amount of Ethereum and amount of ERC20 token, in this case, DAI, that are in the pool, the mix changed, changes. And so, if the price double, the uh, invariant stays the same, stays a million, but then... Y is equal to seven. We, we were gonna find it within uh, the pool 71 Ethereum and 14,142 DAI. Uh, and you're asking me, but, but why is this mix changing? So the mix changes because you know the, the, the proposition of the, the function of Uniswap is to maintain the invariant uh, constant. So x times y is equal to, uh, to, to constant to i, uh, and so 71 times 14,000 is still equal to, to a million. And then if we want to maintain the constant, the, the i, the invariant constant, then x and y change, right? And if you do the math, you consider the derivative of uh, the bonding curve. That's, you know, the, you, you come across these two formulas. x is equal to the square root of the invariant times the price, and y is equal to the square root of the invariant divided the price. So basically, you know, to maintain the invariant constant, the mix of the tokens changes. And the more the financial, the economic reason why this happens is that by changing the price, arbitrage happens. And so by, uh, by effect of the arbitrage, uh, it, the, um, you, you know, there will be essentially a little bit more Ethereum sold. Uh, and, and so the, um, and so the, the, the ratio between, between the, you know, the, the <clears throat> two, uh, a token and Ethereum uh, slightly changed. Now, what this means is that if we go here to see the values, now it's like this. So V0, as I said, is the value of holding. So let's consider, and, and, and it says 30,000. Why is 30,000? Because if we held um, our initial amount, right? So 100 Ether and 10,000 die. They, now they will be worth 30,000 uh, equal to 10,000 DAI, they will stay the same, plus 100 ether. Now, the 100 ether are now worth 200 uh, DAI each, so 20,000, right? So 20,000 plus 10,000 is equal to 30,000. Now, if we uh, consider V1, which is the actual value of, the, of our investment uh, uh, in the Uniswap pool, now it says 28,000, uh, 28,284. Why? Because since we invest in Uniswap, we now have 71 Ether and 14,000 DAI. Now, 14,000 DAIs are obviously worth 14,000 DAI, but 71 Ether times 200, right, are worth approximately, again, like 14,000. So the sum of the DAI value and the Ethereum value is 28,000. And here exactly is where the impermanent loss is, because if we held uh, our, our, our um, uh, investment, we would have 30,000. Now we have 28. So, which means like we have an impermanent loss of about 6%. Or in other words, our investment in, in Uniswap is equal to 94% of uh, if we, the value if we held. And uh, you can see here the numbers. I mean, uh, the same thing happens. And by the way, this is symmetrical. So if the price double, we get... 94% or impermanent loss of 6%. If the price halves, so the you know the price is no longer 100 but it's 50, then again it's a 94% or 6% loss. And if we um, put this in a chart, uh, we we get exactly this. So we get, <clears throat> and we can uh, we can use whatever line to um, to to point this, but um, essentially. Um, Right, so if the price is equal to 1, right, it's 100%. If the price is halves, right, we get to 94%, which is, uh, which is the same if the price essentially doubles, right? And uh, so you see that basically if there was just for the impermanent loss, any, and, and by the way, this is maybe is a little more clear if uh, we, um, we put the decimal, uh, with the, put the decimal point, but um, uh, let's see, whatever. But this is, you know, essentially this is two x and this is zero point five. But um, so if it was just for the um, 
for the bonding curve, Uniswap wouldn't yield anything because you know either way, either we the price compared to when you invest it goes down or it goes up. It's always is always um, uh, negative or penalizing you compared to holding. But we also have the fees, right? Also fees comes into play. And so what happened is you know when we actually go and consider the fees. Let's imagine over time we get the fees. Uh, the fees are accumulating and so essentially what happens this essentially curves moves up right and by moving up um, it, it determines an interval where we uh, where the investment is actually positive so if we draw a line here of uh, whatever this is 100% of the investment at day one either you know the day one is actually the blue curve both ways if the price moves we're making a loss but as the time moves as the time passes we also accumulating um, fees, right? So essentially the curve, and now we're looking at the orange one, uh, moves up. And um, because of this moving up, it determines a price interval where we're making uh, a positive return on our investment. And um, we, I made another video where I was showing you um, coming to whatever, the uniswapri.com, where you can actually see this in action. So... Especially, um, you know, I'm just taking whatever an account and a pool for the, to an example. There is a table of comparison here, uh, which uh, <clears throat> essentially show you this. In particular, as we, um, you know, the, the difference in, in V0 and V1 that we saw here. So the value of holding versus the value of your Uniswap investment is exactly what you will find in this little table. And especially the impermanent losses, the essentially difference between the effect of the price change uh, compared to the two scenarios. So the scenario of um, holding, which will be V0, and the scenario of Uniswap, which in the Excel was V1. So I hope this uh, clarifies a little bit how and uh, why the um, impermanent loss occurs and uh, how the Uniswap uh, bonding curve model or market-making function works. Uh, if you have any, any question, uh, Come, feel free to comment or get in touch with the tool. There are a few buttons to, to connect directly with me and, and so we can have a, a further discussion about this. Hope you enjoyed the video and, and um, have a good one. Talk to you soon.